My question is, with me already knowing the answer, I guess I'm just OCD. Should I regard the HIV status from the test that both my, my boyfriend and I took to be conclusive and accurate, and then just move on from this? It just seems constantly to be on my mind, to the point of where I almost want to get a blood test done twice, but I never did, because I knew I was thinking irrationally. My best friend, she's actually a nurse, and she told me repeatedly not to worry about it, that I'm fine, and that she would even recommend the at-home test to people. I've never been this OCD about anything in my, in my whole life. We both followed the directions to the test very carefully, and I did a large amount of research before purchasing the, the test kit that I used. I guess I just need to hear something from an outside party or somebody that supplies medical advice. I realise that I sound like a born warrior, but I don't know where else to turn. I bought an online kit because I work in the local health service and feared to be stigmatized by the doctors and nurses because most of them know me. I didn't want anyone else to know my results. If I couldn't use that kit, I would have stayed at home or maybe tried to go in for testing where there is no one who knows me, somewhere far away from home. I would use the kit again because it's convenient and personal. The paper in the kit said what your results mean to you and I think the message should be translated in all international languages. Um, well, I knew my ex-girlfriend had it. She told me a while back, and uh, after we broke up, uh, just to be sure, I went and got tested. I need to get tested myself, so I bought a thing online. I just looked it up because I'd heard about it, and I didn't really want to talk to MD in my way. So I bought this thing online and um, did a wee test, looked at the result, and. That was that. Uh, it was negative. So that was cool. I wasn't really worried to begin with, but I suppose there's a wee nagging doubt in your mind. So just to be sure, I, I, I did the wee test and that was the end. I'm just quite happy now. I wanted to try it out and I feel I have sufficient knowledge of what to do and where to go if tested positive to negate the need for counselling. I also wanted an instantaneous result. If my home kit had not been available, I would have gone to my primary care physician. Would I use a kit again? No, because my primary care physician does it for me free. If I need to access these kits in the future, I think it needs to be advertised more and made cheaper. But where it's available now, it meets my needs. The information within the kit was too much. I lost interest after reading the first bit. I wanted to know how they explain the false positives and false negatives to lay users and what kind of referral information they provided. I felt it was sufficiently explained, but I also think that few people read the fine print. So, you work in HIV? Yeah. I've got HIV. Okay. Are you doing okay? Um, yeah, but no one actually knows about me. And I've only just told the doctor. So what, the doctor didn't know? Sorry? Your doctor didn't know? No, but I knew as soon as my ex-boyfriend had told me he'd had it. We'd only been f***ing without condoms, so I used one of the self-tests. I've known for about a year. Why did you use a test kit? I didn't want to tell anybody about it. Besides, I figured I'd already had it. I bought the test just to be double sure. I wanted to deal with it on my own. In my own way. 